Hey there, everyone. Welcome to FJX 2000 Productions and another episode of Let's FJ. My name is Hayden, and in today's video, we will be looking at this. These are concept renderings of a future FJ cruiser made by Enoch Gabriel Gonzalez from the Philippines. He is an industrial designer who creates all sorts of neat renderings for different types of vehicles, but his latest work on what he calls the 2024 Toyota FJ cruiser is incredible. If you like what you see, be sure to follow the link in the description to his Behance.net page and check out all his work. Remember to like this video if you enjoy the content, and I am very interested to hear all your thoughts on this concept in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already, as we are so close to reaching my 10,000 subscriber goal. But anyways, let's get started. I first saw this concept being shared in another YouTube video and then on carbuzz.com and just had to share my own thoughts on it since I honestly think it is really great. I sure hope Toyota sees concept work like this and gets an idea of what FJ Cruiser fans really want. I feel like this concept addresses many of people's main concerns with the original FJ Cruiser, so props to Enoch for his attention to detail. Let's start at the front and work our way back. Upon viewing this concept, it is clear as day that this is some sort of FJ Cruiser successor, as the distinctive round headlights, lettered Toyota logo, and oval grille are directly taken from the original FJ Cruiser, and at length, from the classic FJ40 Land Cruiser, which the FJ Cruiser is based off of. So many FJ concepts seem to depart from the distinctive grille, and then it just doesn't feel or look quite right, so I love that we keep that in this concept. I also love the modernization of the round headlight scene here, since honestly, it is hard to make a good looking round headlight that has modern features like projector lenses or halo accent lights without it looking bad or tacky. If I could buy these headlights for my FJ right now, I would totally be first in line. Besides the grille, the overall look of the turn signals, hood, and front bumper give me sort of Hummer H3 vibes, but that's not necessarily the worst thing. Especially with the hood shape, it may increase front visibility for off-roading that the current FJ does admittedly lack. I like that the hexagonal mesh grille design is retained in this concept and that the front bumper has easily accessible red front toe points. This center silver section of the bumper certainly calls back to the current FJ's bumper design and the use of the TRD front skid plate is a nice touch, like on the 2014 Trail Teams Ultimate Edition. The concept has the FJ Cruiser hood vent, which in this version would hopefully be practical and not just a visual add-on like it is with the current FJ, and the bumper being designed the way that it is, with it going straight across, would be great and easy for designing aftermarket bumper options as opposed to the current Forerunner and Tacoma that have to deal with cutting the factory plastic bumper or creative designs to get around this. The side vents on the bumper also allow a perfect place for fog lights to be added, sort of like the Ford Raptor, and overall, the corner clearance of the bumper really looks great for off-roading. Next, looking at the wheels and tires, I love how rugged this setup looks, and how large and beefy the tires are. And the thing I appreciate most about the tires is their tread pattern, and how it is directly designed after the Fierce Attitude MT, the same tire I had on my first FJ. The sidewalls are different, but there's no denying that the treads are the same, which I absolutely love since I loved those tires. And the concept TRD wheels used definitely remind me of the honeycomb futuristic military tires I've seen pictures of, so that's pretty cool too. I love the look of black wheels on the FJ, as I currently have black TRD wheels on my FJ, so I totally dig how the concept looks utilize that same look. The bulging fenders may be a little exaggerated for my taste, but it does fit the concept pretty well. It is funny to see the TRD Pro emblem incorporated on the side like the current TRD Pro Tacoma. There never was a TRD Pro FJ Cruiser, as the TRD Pro series of vehicles were released in 2015, the year after the FJ Cruiser was discontinued in America. If you want to go more into that topic, be sure to check out this video I did all about it, but it is neat to think that a future FJ could use the same Toyota off-road trim names used on other vehicles. Like rather than the most off-road ready package for the FJ being called the Trail Team Special Edition, it could be the TRD Pro to match the Forerunner, Tacoma, Tundra, and Sequoia. 
The concept appears to have side steps that could easily be swapped out for rock sliders, offering more protection and giving it a little extra clearance. And speaking of clearance, the design of the concept seems very similar to the current FJ in how it has independent front suspension with a solid rear axle. This would mean the concept probably has comparable ground clearance and off-roading capabilities to today's FJ. The front approach angle though certainly seems like an improvement from the current FJ, as does possibly the rear descent angle, but the wheelbase appears to have been slightly lengthened to make room for the full four doors. Many people, and especially reviewers, always bashed the FJ for its awkward suicide doors, so having the four doors would certainly fix that issue and make it more comparable to the four-door Jeeps and Broncos. This design also eliminates the extra wide C pillar found on our current FJs, eliminating the huge blind spot that we have to deal with and that many reviewers are especially critical of. Just addressing those two issues with the current FJ would have a huge impact on how the FJ would do in today's market should it be re-released, so I enjoy that Enoch incorporated those into his design. I love that the rear view mirrors are wider than they are tall, as this would certainly help with visibility, another critique of the modern FJ. But the incorporation of the horizontal light strip, even if it is just a side indicator, is a neat reimagining and modernization of the current FJ Cruiser mirror light, and it is probably a more practical design as well. The windshield appears to still retain its vertical nature, which would still make it prone to rock chips, as is the case with many vehicles like the FJ, but it does look larger than our current FJ windshield, which I can only imagine would help with visibility. Speaking of visibility, not only are the rear door and cargo area windows much larger, but this concept has a trick up its sleeve, a removable roof. This is of course very similar to the Jeep and Bronco, but is honestly a feature folks have begged for over the years that would certainly be fun to have, especially in warmer climates or seasons. The doors also appear to be easily removable, which would be a great help with off-road visibility when it comes to watching your tire placement more carefully and conveniently. With the removable roof, it is expected that the roof rack would be a little lacking compared to the current FJ, but that is a trade-off I think many people would be okay with, unless you were looking to add a rooftop tent and want to overland the new FJ. In that case, an off-road trailer may be better suited for this FJ. The rear end of the FJ sees a bumper design very similar to the right-hand drive FJ cruisers we already got, but the way the tail lights and third brake light are designed along with the cargo door just gives me strong Jeep vibes. And speaking of other vehicle vibes, the amount that the fenders stick out certainly looks like the new Ford Broncos, but knowing the FJ crowd, many people would probably just take them off completely and get the fenderless look. The colors we see with this 2024 concept are also a huge appeal to the work Enoch has presented. In the renderings, we get a classic voodoo blue looking color, a staple of the FJ Cruiser, along with other bright vibrant colors like orange and yellow. There is also the featured green color, a clean looking black color, and a beige color very reminiscent of the sandstorm color we already got. It is nice to see with these models how they have the distinctive white FJ roof, another iconic feature of the FJ Cruiser. And I quite like the design of the bumpers and how the body color is extended down into their design, sort of like fangs or something. But included in the lineup are also a silver color, a crisp looking white color, and my personal favorite, a vivid red color. And all of these have a black roof instead of the white with the bumpers of the silver and white FJ being all black instead of the body colors extending down onto them. I think these variations look spectacular, especially the red and white as the black accents them so well. And seeing as the concept FJs with white roofs also have white painted roll bars, I wonder if for the white, silver, and red FJs with the black roofs, if they would have matching black roll bars. If so, it would make for a really clean look and I would be all for it. The cargo area in the back looks pretty similar to the current FJ as far as room goes, and it is fun to note how the dashboard almost looks identical to the current FJs. Also note that the designer included a manual transmission shifter in the center console, which would be so great as the FJ fans I know who have 6-speed manual transmissions are very enthusiastic about them and would love to see that incorporated in the future. 
Overall, it is just really neat to see a concept vehicle like this 2024 FJ Cruiser, animated in such amazing detail and with so much care taken into consideration with its design and features. From the four doors, to the removable roof, to the amazing color selection, and just the overall appearance of it. If this was how the second generation FJ looked, say it were released today, it would be a dream come true I feel like. And really, the concept isn't that outlandish or crazy, especially when compared to the 2003 FJ Cruiser concept, so it would be neat to see something like this become a reality. But for now, we can only hope and dream, as there currently are no plans to make a true FJ Cruiser successor as far as I know, or to re-release it in the US and other former FJ markets that no longer have it. But thanks for watching this video and checking out Enix 2024 Toyota FJ Cruiser. It is a real treat to see stuff like this, so be sure to check out his page. Again, a link is in the description below. If there are any other concept FJs you want me to look into, be sure to let me know. Also be sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what you think of this concept, since now you know my personal thoughts. I hope to bring you more FJ Cruiser related content soon, but until next time, take care.